Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so have you ever wanted to upgrade your existing car so it has new features, even Bluetooth to Android Auto to Apple CarPlay to backup camera to all these new cool features that newer cars have, but at a fraction of the cost in just your existing car? Well, Pioneer sent me an in-dash receiver to find out just how much better my car could be, and the results are pretty awesome. Let's get to it. So Pioneer sent us their new in-dash receiver, the W4660 Nex, and it is an upgrade to the one we reviewed a few years ago, and it is really awesome just in the amount of upgrades we got. It really showed me just how much better a car system really is if it's third party than even if a manufacturer does it. I really like this better than the newer car we got last year's system because although it had Android Auto, this has a lot more going for it. So let me explain. Overall, with this car, you get a bunch of extras. So we got it installed at Beach Audio Sound in Huntington Beach, California. Go ahead and check them out. They have a great selection of all these different products and really are really great at explaining everything once it's all set up. So we got the receiver installed there. And again, the one we did was the W4660. Now the first thing the system really does is up your sound quality. It sounded so much cleaner, so much better than the built-in system we had in the Nissan Juke. And overall, it just really sounded so much better. It can play more codecs through Bluetooth, but if you go USB route, it can even play high res codec. So overall, if you're worried about sound quality or just wanna improve the overall quality of sound for your system, this is a great way to go. to my personal favorite feature that I was just so happy with that every car manufacturer should make, but Pioneer does it, and again, this is better than every other manufacturer of car that I've tested, and that is dual Bluetooth. So it was a really cool experience to actually connect my phone and my wife's phone at the same time so that if we're driving together and someone calls, either one of our phones will pick up through the Bluetooth system. That was awesome. It really was just like, oh my God, why doesn't every car system have this? Because you always do want to take a call and so that both of you can talk, it just makes it so much easier than if she picks up a call and it's on speakerphone, or if you're like me, I have a work phone and a personal phone. I can connect both to it at the same time and both ring. So no matter who calls me on what phone, I can pick up safely through the system. And I just absolutely love that. You also have Amazon Alexa built in, which is really great because it opens you up to a whole array of smart home technology, getting answers to questions, or even playing games with kids. So that really is important because the fact that you can play games with kids is always, trust me, I mean, you can play Jeopardy in the car with them, you know, any kind of thing just to keep them entertained. That is always very, very important, trust me. But not only do you have Alexa, of course you have the two smart systems made by smartphone manufacturers. So you have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Now, right away, I will say that the biggest upgrade that we had from our last receiver to this one was that Android Auto on this system is wireless. So you don't have to go with a wired setup if you have a relatively newer Samsung device. It worked uh, along the lines from an S10 to the newer Note 20. So I, I tested out a bunch of different devices from Pixels to all these other ones, and they all worked perfectly wirelessly. So that's a really big upgrade. And in terms of Android Auto specifically, you also have, of course, Google Assistant there. And for Apple CarPlay, you have Siri. All wirelessly, you can charge your phone while you're doing it or wirelessly charge it. You don't have to be restrained to plugging it in through USB to the car, which would give you a slower charge 
than your typical fast charge car charger. With this, you also get, of course, not only Google Assistant, but on Android Auto, you get Google Maps, you get YouTube Music, you get podcasts, basically whatever apps that you kind of have on there, Spotify, it really just kind of makes it seamless connecting to it, playing a random station if you want to, doing all that makes it very simple and easy to use. You can also customize it, which I really appreciate it. You can customize your home screen exactly how you want it. We actually, uh, since this one was a backup camera ready, we actually got a backup cam installed and put that to the home screen, which I thought was a really cool feature to have. You can just always see it at all times if you want. Uh, when you're driving, of course, it will turn off, but when you're parked, it's just always on. You can see it like that or when of course you immediately go into reverse, it will come up. So those kind of abilities to really customize it, change your background, change how big the widget sizes are, really great. And again, you can't do that on other car systems and I wish you could because some of them are just really weird the way they design them. And the fact that you can customize it, change your own personal background is really an awesome, awesome feature. And customizing it really is easy through the Pioneer app. It really is easy to bring your own backgrounds from your smartphone. So if you have a picture from your smartphone that you want to be your background uh, for your audio or for just the standby mode, you can customize it very easily. Not only that, but you also have the ability to bring bookmarks for the web browser, which we'll talk about in a second, and you have the ability to upgrade the firmware, which I did do right when I set this up. It, I don't know what the firmware really entailed, but it definitely worked great after. So I think it's always good to be able to update your firmware and the fact that you can do it from an app to your receiver makes it really easy. Speaking of that web browser a second ago, when you're parked, you actually have access to a full on web browser that uses your phone's internet to browse the web. And my favorite part that I immediately had to try out was yes, you can actually watch YouTube videos with this. That's huge. The fact that you can just like put on YouTube videos when you're parked is really big. I know for my son, I would put on Sesame Street or Baby Shark just so he wouldn't get fussy. Uh, so really things like that, you know, it is really great to have, but it really is just an awesome experience that when you're parked, you can actually be entertained more so than the days of old when you used to put in DVDs and all that kind of stuff. Now you can have a full internet browser to stream movies on if you want. That I think is really such a big upgrade. So yeah, guys, this Pioneer deck system has a lot to offer. This particular model goes for about $600 and it really, again, just has improved definitely the overall experience for our existing car right now. And they have some amazing new ones as well that we saw at CES that trust me, we wanna review down the line because they have even bigger screens. This one is about a seven inch screen, 6.8 inch display. So when we get to those eight and 10 inch displays, down the line, we are even gonna see bigger and better from Pioneer, but they just offer so much that you honestly have a better system than the car we bought last year. It really is just so much better, the experience you have and get. And I will say that if you want to upgrade your car, this is probably the best investment you can make in it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y. The YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're going to find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.